Yep. This is Hurricane Florence for you. Day two. They had us on a direct hit for it, so I got all prepared. Went down to Charlie's. They let me use a uh, 25, it's either 25 or 30 kilowatt diesel generator. Got that brought up here. Bought all my wire, got it wired in. There's too much stuff in the panel box to go from the outside in, so I just run it through the window to the panel box. So all you had to do was go out here, start it up, and flip that breaker on, and the whole house would be powered. <clears throat> so I was prepared, filled that up with fuel, went and got a hundred and some gallons. I think it's 110 gallons in that tank. Had another 110 in the other work truck. So I was prepared to be without power for seven days. Power hadn't even flickered. <laughs> Lost one tree up front. We've had some pretty pretty gusty winds, but uh, the storm did a, a beeline and missed us. So I'm gonna go out and about here in a little bit. I gotta get out of the house. I'm about to go crazy. And I'll do, do a few more little updates. But look at that grass. That grass is on time. I'm going to head out and about. I'll show you the the one tree that fell during the storm. That's it right over there. About a 50 foot gum tree snapped in half. Fell over right on the property line tree. I had to clean that up another day. But all in all, it's pretty, pretty uneventful storm. Um, The gate blew shut that's that's about the highlight of what happened and there's a dog running but they they had the storm forecasted to come right over top of us and it would have it was really going to be bad if it did it was going to be a category four and i'm going to turn the camera around i'm getting better i'm not 100 percent better but i feel better and I'm about to go stir crazy sitting in the house, so I'm going to ride up to my buddy's sawmill and check it out. He's up there today. Sit around and shoot the shit for a while. Um, but yeah, they had the storm coming directly at us. They were calling for like 90 mile an hour winds here. It was going to be a Cat 4, and then all of a sudden it got downgraded to a Category 2, and then this high pressure or something pushed the, uh, the storm kind of down more south and west so it actually kind of went over charlie's place so when i take the generator back i'll get in there and check on him whenever the roads open back up they're all underwater right now 95 and everything they got we've gotten six probably five or six inches of rain here and it's starting to rain some more god's on wipers but it, nothing like it could have been they were calling for up to 30 inches of rain here which just would have been catastrophic uh, for us, so hopefully everything fared pretty well around here. We were within about an hour Hour to 60 to 80 miles um, Variance from really having a problem to this is just another rain event for us So we fared pretty well everybody else down south. It, it's it's pretty bad They got between 15 and probably over 20 inches of rain at the coast. So everything's underwater along with all this water that's going to head down there in a couple days so uh thoughts for everybody down there it's it's going to be pretty bad for for everybody down east <clears throat> as you can see our tree branches that's that's about the highlight around here of of what happened not really not really a whole lot happened around here so thankful for that hopefully the lake job i'm sure it it's full. I opened the valve up some more day before yesterday. And, uh, but you know, it, it takes like an inch of rain for that lake to fill up four feet. So <clears throat> I'm sure it's full and we'll just worry about that. When it quits raining, we can check everything out and see what's going on. So thanks everybody for all the uh, prayers and everything that they sent. It seemed to work. We got an ambulance coming. Hold on slow down for them so, 
Yeah, I appreciate everybody's thoughts and concerns, but we, we did fare out pretty well. Power never flickered, so. Uh, hope I can say the same for a whole lot of others.